happy Wednesday. I hope wherever you are that you and your loved ones are safe and well, that you're having a good week and a good day, and happy, happy new year. Um, I apologize for the chaos of the channel for the last few weeks. Um, it's been a chaotic couple of weeks. Um, if you have read the blog, you know that I had COVID for Christmas. So exciting. Um, I wasn't feeling well the week before Christmas. I started to feel a little run down. I had serious body aches, but I had a really, like the worst sore throat I've ever had. And I've had strep throat dozens of times as a child. Um, and so it was just a really weird, you know, I wasn't getting better. I did the gargle with salt water thing. I did uh, like a chloroseptic spray. I did cough drops. I did like throat drops rather. And nothing was getting better. And it didn't look bad when I looked at it, but something was off. And I was worried about Christmas. I was worried about being with my mom and my siblings, but especially my mom. Um, and as you know, I had never had it before. And so COVID, I mean, and um, so I thought I was getting the flu, to be honest with you, because I did a home test for COVID and it was negative. But now I know that those are only 70 or so percent effective, according to the doctor at City MD. So I was like, great. Makes me feel really good. Um, so I went, I guess it was two days before Christmas, and they did the like same test I did. It was negative. Strep test, negative. Flu test, negative. She thought it was just something viral. And she said, um, you know, if I felt like I could be around everybody on Monday, Christmas morning, Christmas day, to wear a mask. And, um, but when I got, I, the fact that I even went to the doctor, my husband said he knew that I didn't feel well and that, that we were not going to be going to anywhere for Christmas. Um, and so we had, you know, told my mom and my siblings, like, we were just going to lay low and not take the chance. And, um, cause also my daughter was under the weather. She did not have COVID, thank God. Um, my husband said he felt like he was fighting something, but thankfully I was the only one hit with stupidity of COVID. And um, so on Christmas Day, I got a voicemail. My phone just immediately put it to voicemail um, because it didn't recognize the number saying, um, you have new test results with CityMD. So I was like, oh, my husband said, oh, see what it is first stupid line is like, you have coronavirus. I was like, I, I didn't even know where to go. We were opening gifts. We were having coffee. We were just in our pajamas and I got slammed with that. And I was like, are you kidding me? So then we spent a long while after that, just rewriting Christmas songs about <laughs> giving each other COVID and making each other sick. Like, <laughs> but this is, this is why my family and I are as close as we are because our ridiculousness matches each other's ridiculousness. And so they were great sports about it. And uh, it just, they just made it funny. It made it fun, like a ridiculous situation. All you can do is laugh because otherwise you cry. And believe me, I came pretty close to crying a couple of times because I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Um, and then we just stayed put. We just rested and, but it reminded me that I had become kind of, complacent about it all and I stopped wearing my mask in stores that were not too crowded or that were really big and high ceilinged because I thought yeah I'll be all right but no more biohazard Becky is back I went into a store this afternoon I had my mask on and I know the guy that works in the store and he's like I didn't recognize you with the mask and the sunglasses and your winter hat he said yeah are you in disguise or something because were you sick? Did you have COVID? I'm like, yes, I had it for Christmas. And he's like, oh yeah, I've had it five times. I was like, well, I hadn't. I had not had it at all. And as my niece said, uh, we thought we could outrun it forever. And I did. But as my sister, who's the nurse, told me, and everybody, get your masks on because this variant is traveling wicked fast and a lot of people are getting sick and they may not even realize they have COVID. Um, but the hospitals have reinstituted mask mandates, which I didn't know why they got rid of the mask mandate. And anytime I had an appointment, I was wearing a mask. If I was on the subway or the, the buses, I was wearing a mask. The only time I wasn't was in the street or if I went into a not so busy store or a big, big store. 
which is probably where I got COVID. But anyway, not the way I wanted to spend Christmas at all. But um, I finally got able. I, I finally got able. Yeah. I was finally able to walk my sister's dog again two days ago. And um, she said, if I felt up to it, I could absolutely do it. So I was like, yes, I missed him. And I was afraid that all of the ground that I had achieved with him would have been thrown out the window by me disappearing from his little tiny Muppety life. When I got in the apartment, he came running around to see who it was, probably thinking it was my sister and then feeling, wow, the disappointment. And he came over, but then he backed away. And I was like, no. But then I got down on the floor and I was like, come on, let's go out. And he jumped, which he's never done before. Not like this. He jumped onto my lap and then he jumped off of my lap, but then stood up on me and, you know, was trying to give me his little tiny paw, which is literally, I kid you not, like my finger. He, like he was giving me his paw, giving me, I can't speak today. And then he, I had my hair down and he like was sniffing and like licking my hair. And I was like, oh my gosh, he didn't forget about me. He missed me, obviously. That's where it went in my head. So he did the same thing yesterday and today. And I thought, wow, maybe I've made a better impression on him than I thought I did. Um, but we went for it. The wind was crazy last night. Um, I mean, like literal howling. I have never heard, um, we've had a couple of instances, but nothing was as bad as last night, where the wind literally howled, except since we've moved here. Um, because we're not far from water, and um, so, I mean, the, it, it's like a wind tunnel. It was really kind of scary, and so my sister wasn't sure if he'd want to be outside today, but the wind died down, thankfully, and he was just out there living his best life, like, let's just take the longest walk ever in this crazy wind, um, but we've been very lucky weather-wise, and, uh, but the one bad thing about having COVID, aside from having COVID, is I lost my taste for coffee. I mean, of all the things that the universe has to slap me with, aside from one of the most contagious viruses in our modern times, if not the most contagious, and it's like, you take away my coffee? Are you kidding me? How dare you? How dare you? It was just the most insulting, horrible thing. And I've gotten some of it back, but then I realized last night that I think my taste buds are kind of going in and out because oatmeal tasted really we really weird to me today. And I eat oatmeal every day and it just tasted like, I can't even explain it, like a cotton candy and it was like maple and brown sugar, basic but it tasted like cotton candy paper oatmeal. I just, I couldn't eat it and I hate wasting food, but I was like, what is happening? So then I ate a bowl of the cereal that I used, pretty much eat every day, except when I have oatmeal. And I ate that whole thing, but it tasted off. It tasted like cinnamon something, but not the cinnamon crunch Cheerio, whatever the heck it is that it normally is. Weird. So, it just added insult to serious injury, in my opinion. <laughs> Taking away coffee. <laughs> um, what else? I guess that's it. Um, I feel very lucky because I feel like my boosters and all 87 vaccines and whatnot that I had um, helped me tremendously because it could have been way worse. And the fatigue is no joke. I am still coming back, but... Um, making myself go out. That's why it was nice to be able to walk the dog again, because I feel like I was able to get back to routine um, and do what I'm supposed to be doing, which is going out uh, three or four days a week, walking the dog, taking a long walk with him, and um, and then taking a long walk either to run errands or just to walk. And um, not being able to do that was rough. And we did try to go out um, when we started to feel better. We were taking walks in the evening with masks and everything on, but like we were taking walks in the evening and to make ourselves go out and uh, get some fresh air and move because otherwise it would, I would have just stayed like a slug on the couch and not moved. Um, but just be careful, put your masks on, you know what I mean? I know whatever you believe or whatever, it's no joke and just be safe because it's not going anywhere and it's going to be like the flu. It's going to morph and change and it's still putting people in the hospital. It's still killing people. 
Um, and like the people in my life, the circle of people in my life, at least five people have had it recently besides me. And so like, it's a lot of people and you know, that we know, and it's just ridiculous. And, um, and I feel grateful that I didn't have it at the beginning of this debacle because we didn't know enough. We didn't, we weren't protected at all. And, um, and it just reminded me, don't be so lazy about being safe because I was the safest person probably in my entire family. I was like masked up, never took it off. I was just like, no, we are going out with a mask on. We are staying safe. And, um, as other people eased their mask wearing, I was like, not me, not me. I'm going to be safe. And then over the last six to eight months, I was like, well, no more. Masks are back. My phone is blowing up. Anyway, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, 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 I hope wherever you are in the world that you and your loved ones are safe. I hope that you have a low pain, no pain, low aggravation, no aggravation kind of a day, kind of a week, kind of a weekend to come, kind of a year ahead, because that's what we hope for, that's what we deserve, that is what I truly wish for each and every one of you. I am back to filming. I am very proud of myself because I never gave up the blog. I would have been furious with myself if I had given that up. Even if I had had to publish one word like, hello, I would have done it. But I really worked on, even though the blogs were not my best, I was getting things published and that's that. So I put all of Christmas away yesterday. I'm very proud of myself, um, as sad as it was because I decorated my apartment like Macy's or Radio City were gonna come and judge me as if I was in contention to decorate for the Christmas Spectacular. I'm not kidding. It was like snowflakes from the ceiling, a glittery garland on the bookcases, uh, old time decorations out, some new decorations out, a wreath. I mean, I went a little over the top. Every nutcracker I own was out. It was amazing. It was amazing. And now it's just like apartment. But Valentine's Day is coming. So there's that. I'm not a big Valentine's person. And, but I will decorate because now, I've, I'm, now I'm in decoration mode. So it's like, I'll put a wreath on something on the door and, you know, whatever. Anyway, I'm still going. I'm still rambling. Why? I'm going to leave it there. I will be back for the... For, oh my, I can't talk. I will be back on the weekend for the blog, next week for everything. Take care. <laughs> be safe. <laughs>